All right, Shalom, Shalom to the Lord's elect of the nation of Israel. Kal Halal Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Wa Baha Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes out to the brothers pushing this gospel, this good news, the world over in sincerity and in truth. Peace, blessings, and mercy goes out to the Ba'ath Shah Dawada, the house of David. Adawan Rataza, which means Lord willing. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And uh, yeah, this is just a quick prophecy news watch. All right. You know, because currently, you know, we're in the Sabbath today. All right. Which the date today is Saturday, the 30th of March, 2024, the hopeful year of Yaquab's trouble. All right. And uh, this is a, an article from endtimeheadlines.org. Very recent. Okay. And the headline reads, trillions of cicadas set to invade eastern US for the first time since, well, so-called founding fathers. All right, <laughs> you know, because uh, you know, the landmass of what you know of America. All right, the Native Americans were there. All right, which is the tribe of Gad, as well as Issachar. All right, yeah. you know, Northern Kingdom. Okay, so uh, you know, it's evident, man. All right, that the Most High is displaying more signs on this earth. All right, which was uh, something that you know that he did within ancient Egypt. Okay. Right. you know before he destroyed pharaoh and took down the ancient egyptians you know the hamites right and that's their biblical nationality so the lord showed signs by plaguing ancient egypt just like he he will you know plague modern day egypt america right which in the scriptures is you know is known as spiritually sodom and egypt all right but before the nuclear destruction right the plagues must terrorize america okay and this is all bible prophecy okay the plagues must terrorize america first all right, so you know, we're in spiritual Egypt all over again. We're in Egypt all over again. Okay. Let's get the book of um, <clears throat> Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 8, because that's where basically I quoted that scripture. Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 8. And it reads, And their dead body. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay. You know, at one point we were, you know, spiritually dead. We didn't know who we were as a people, right? We didn't know <clears throat> of our heritage, all right? We were not connected to our roots, our culture, you know, our Hebrew culture. Alright, we had we didn't really understand who we were, man, and now we have the understanding. Okay. We didn't know of our nationality, but now we do. All right. The reason why is because the Lord sent down the Holy Spirit. All right. All right. To uh, give us that, that understanding of who we are. All right. Thus making us spiritually alive, quickened, if you will. All right. And it's more, it's more than evident, man. All right. <clears throat> As we read on, okay, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay. And it's more evident that that this great city, America, is spiritually Sodom. All right, you know why. All right, and Egypt. All right, just look at the back of the dollar bill. All right, with the all-seeing eye on the pyramid. All right, look at the obelisk in Washington D.C. Man, you know the the those are clear, clear indicators, man, clear signs. All right. You know America pushes <clears throat> that abominable alphabet skittle lifestyle. You know. They've pushed that all over the world as well. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay. And <clears throat> we know that the Lord Yahweh Shai wasn't actually physically crucified in America. Okay. Yahweh Shai being, you know, his true ancient Hebrew name, right, not Jesus. Okay, because the letter J came about in 1524 by a man named John Chasino. Okay, which really is an extension of the letter I. All right, and they weren't speaking English when Yahushua was on the scene, so his name could not be Jesus. All right, that's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus anyway. So-called black man from the tribe of, you know, Judah. All right. So, you know, like I mentioned, Yahushua wasn't actually physically crucified in America, of course not. All right, but this means that 
his image, you know, has been X'd out and they put up the image of Caesar Borgia, right? So that's how he was crossed out, right? Deceiving us by telling us that the false image, <clears throat> sorry, by, te you know, by uh, telling us that the Messiah was an Edomite, yeah. right? So-called white man, all right? You know? And that false image was also pushed throughout the four corners of the world, man. Okay, so everyone, everyone knows about white Jesus. Everyone knows about Christianity. That's why we know Christianity cannot be the right path. Okay, far from it. All right. So, <clears throat> if we get into the article. All right. So it says trillions of cicadas are set to invade the eastern US for the first time in 221 years. Right, scientists say, right, according to them. All right, so in April, two large broods of periodical cicadas are going to emerge from the ground around the US for a large mating frenzy. All right, billions, even trillions of cicadas are going to emerge at the same time across 17 states. Chris Simon, a professor in Yukon's Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biolog Biology, told Life Science. Okay, so you know, brood so and so have been living underground for 17 and 13 years, respectfully, sorry, respectively, and will emerge for the first time together in 221 years. Okay, it says periodical broods are found in eastern North America and tend to emerge in large numbers. Once they hatch, the nymphs feed off root sap and uh, underground until it's time to mate. Mating season has been described as a noisy and chaotic display that could happen for weeks. And, you know, we're in the, you know, the true new year. Okay. You know, the springtime where things start to grow back. You know, plants grow back. Animals come out of hibernation. You know, flowers blossom. Life springs forth. You know. But obviously, you know, these devils, man, you know, they, they've changed the time, the seasons and things like that. And, and want you to believe that the new year starts the 1st of January in the middle of winter when things are dead. That's backwards, man, and false. Okay. So it says, an event like this hasn't occurred since 1803 when Thomas Jefferson was president, and the next occurrence will not be until 2244. Yeah, right, like we get into that. America's going to be destroyed way before then, man. And I personally don't even see America going on, America going on another five years. <laughs> 2244. <laughs> yeah, man, it's funny, man. It's funny. Yeah. Pushing them on. You see, these devils are so prideful. They think their their house should continue forever. They think they're gonna just continue to rule in wickedness. You see. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, at least you got me laughing. That's good. Laughing's good for you, man. Laughing's good for you. <laughs> so, jeez, not even like ten, twenty, thirty years into the future, but two. <laughs> Two thousand soldiers. Oh dear. <laughs> Scripture talks about boasting of tomorrow. You don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Ratted. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, let's let's get Psalm 135. <laughs> Psalm 135. <laughs> Verse 5, alright, and it reads, For I know that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. That's right, man. Okay, he's above all these false gods and false idols that these heathen nations serve, man. Okay, which have no life in them anyway. And really, <clears throat> serving those, you're basically serving the spiritual demon Satan, alright. Verse 6, Whatsoever had Adawan pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places, right, and the Lord does, you know, what pleases him. Okay, verse 7, he causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth, he maketh lightnings for the rain, he bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. That's right. The Lord is behind all that, man. He controls all. Verse 8, who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent tokens, and tokens are signs, right, and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. You see? 
So is, is Yahab Hashim al that did that, that, that man, right? Smote the first one of Egypt, okay? Sent plagues upon Egypt, all right? Frogs, all right? Crops being destroyed, okay? Yeah. So these plagues are from Yahab Hashim al that's right. Nothing, no, no, no one else, all right? That's why the Lord is to be feared and feared greatly, okay? So what happened in the ancient world will happen again, man. Okay. <laughs> the one true living power did those things. And I have to just keep repeating myself, man. Okay. And very very shortly, man, the name Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai will most certainly be magnified. Okay. In the near future. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> You know, the deliverance from America's destruction will far eclipse the, the deliverance of ancient yeah. Egypt, all right, when the elect of the nation of Israel is delivered, man, all right? So, yeah, there's no new thing under the sun, man. Whatsoever is written of all time is written for our learning, all right? Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and verse 15. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh requireth that which is past. Yeah. You see? So what's already gone, alright, is now. And that which is to come has already happened. Okay. Yeah. Plain as day. You see? And everything happens in the spirit before it happens, before it manifests in the physical. Alright? So yeah. the Lord will plague America. Alright? He will plague the modern day Pharaoh, which is Esau Edom, the so called W H I T E man. Alright? Focusing, alright, no, on the nobility of Edom, alright, Amalek, the JJs, right, the international elite banking families. Alright? You know, you have Lord Rothschild, Lord Rockefeller, alright? You got the Gettys, you got the DuPonts, you have the Oppenheimers, the Warburgs, alright, so on and so forth. Okay. So yeah. Right, if you go to Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, go to verse 10, all right, it says, Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new, it has been already of old time, which was before us. Yeah. You see? So, there you go, man. This verse explains it clearly. All right. Is there, any, is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new? All right, the answer is no. Okay. It has been already of old time, which was before us. Yeah. All right. Go back to the article again. <clears throat> Two thousand two hundred and twenty-four. <laughs> Yo, they know their 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 kingdoms going down, man. See, the, yeah. you know, Esau knows who we are, and he knows that we know who we are. Okay, yeah. <laughs> push you for it, man. All right. So it says. Um, the co-emergence of any two broods of different cycles is rare because the cycles are both prime numbers. John Cooley, founder of the Periodical Cicada Project and a professor in UCOM's Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, told the publication, any given 13 and 70-year-old broods will co-emerge once every 13 times 17 equals 221 years. Okay. However, despite the large volume of cicadas that will appear next, they won't look too different from other emergencies or emergencies, right? In the first week, people will be able to spot the cicadas sitting on vegetation after they shed their exoskeleton around the morning hours. Afterward, they will climb trees and the males will emit a loud noise to attract females. The females will then follow suit, making clicking noises that increase as mating gets underway. From there, the females can lay their eggs and a new batch of cicadas will appear the next morning. For the most part, the broods do not appear in the same location except for a small woodland area in Springfield, Illinois. Yeah, so that's the end of that article right there. You see? So, hey, it's underway, man. It's underway. Alright, so... Yeah. And there's no saving Babylon the Great, man. Okay, America's circling the drain. There's no healing Babylon. Alright? So, it's just a matter of time. Okay? Yeah. So let the plagues manifest. Let the plagues manifest. Second Edges chapter 15, okay, and verse 10. Let's go right there. 
right? This is all prophecy, man. It's prophecies. Yeah, man. It's it's it's, it's, it's happening. Okay. Second Edges chapter fifteen verse ten, and it reads. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right? So you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Haitians and West Indians. Right? So-called. Right? You know, because those are bywords and proverbs that are, you know, that enemies or oppressor put on us. Starting with Esau. Okay? Right? You're, you're the Israelites. Okay? You know, and right now, man, you know, you're being led as a flock to the slaughter. The majority of you, you know, two-thirds of you in Babylon, the great America. All right. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22 mentions that, you know, my people is foolish. You know, does not know me. They are such as children to do evil. The wise for that, but to do good. They lack knowledge in, you see. So anything that's wicked, anything that's, you know, bad, degrading, anything where folly anything that's just full of folly you know, they're, they're excelling that you see and that's the mindset of the majority of our people alright that's why punishment must must come to you you see alright I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt okay but any Egypt spoken of is America man alright Verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm, okay, and Yahweh Shai, whose return is very near, he is the right hand of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, right, he's that mighty hand and stretched out arm, okay, and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof, you see, so, you know, this proves that it already, you know, happened before, right, Yahweh Shai was that death angel, Right, <laughs> that plagued ancient Egypt. All right, that smote the firstborns. All right. <clears throat> okay. Of course, various plagues was you know was was, was sent by Yahweh Shemashai. Okay, but Yahweh Shai was that death angel man. Okay. Nonetheless. So yeah. So, <clears throat> again, man, this happened in the past. So, America, right, the landmass of America will be turned into a gigantic lake of fire, right? But before, so the plagues must happen, right? And when America is turned into that lake of fire, man, it will be burning for a very, very, very long time until eventually, you know, the fire dies down and will be turned into a, into a desert, all right? And only desert creatures will dwell there. Alright, no humans. Alright. And that land will basically never be inhabited again. Alright, no, you know, that'll be it. <laughs> and that'll serve as a memorial of how not <laughs> how not to rule and how unfit Esau is as a ruler. You see. So yeah, the book of Exodus, chapter 9, you know, through 11 speaks about the plagues of ancient Egypt, alright. Go to verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High Power, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, shall bring upon it. You see? Get a precept in the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 21. <clears throat> and it reads, And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemed. The most high because of the plague of the hell, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. You see? So the ultimate plague will be the plague of the nukes. Alright. Zechariah. Fat. You get this in another yeah. translation. Alright. <clears throat> you get a precept to this in the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 12. Yeah. Okay. So Zechariah or Zechariah, which 
which that name means, you know, Yahweh remembers, or he remembers Yahweh. Right? Zach Zachariah chapter 14, verse 12, in the NIV, New International Version. Okay. And it reads, this is the plague which Ha'adawan Yahweh will strike all the nations that fought against Jerusalem. Right, and Jerusalem is the people before place. Okay, it says their flesh will rot while they are still standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets and their tongues will rot in their mouths. Okay. So what technology is capable of doing this? Nuclear missiles. Alright, so two thirds in America who rejected the word of the Lord, who did not want to hearken unto his prophets. Right, will face this judgment, right, and everybody else on the shores of America will be burned as well, right. Being missile food, right, fuel for the fire, you know. So everything's going to be decimated, man, in America, except for the elect, whom the Lord will beam up, right. So that's the final plague coming shortly, right. So America is finished, done with, over, yeah. right trillions in trillions in debt all right there's no, there's no future there all right so repent for the kingdom of yahabashim is at hand all right 